Alright, I'm here in the garage because I was riding the KLR home from the gym and stopped shifting gears. So, I'll show you what I mean and what it's doing. So, here we go. This does nothing. Every now and again you can get one change down, but none up, that's for sure. So, after a bit of googling, it looks like it's just a $3 spring that's in here, in behind here. So what I'm going to, what I'm going to do is take this all off, I'll drain the oil, drain the fluid, and I'll take this whole clutch cover off, and um, hopefully I can find the problem. What a pain in the ass. Yeah, we just went to change gears and it's like, Okay, I'm stuck in the same gear. I keep trying to change. Nope, so I rode home in fourth gear. Um, but yeah, bit bizarre. So, and annoying because I'm supposed to be uh, getting rid of the bike. So, that's all good. Should be an easy fix, hopefully, as long as I can get the part. And hopefully, it is just that. So, let's get in and have a look. All right. I've just about got the clutch cover off. It was really stuck on there. I don't know if it's ever been removed, so about to get it off. Let's we'll see how we go. Right there. Right. Okay, let's have a look at the spring. Get some light on it. Yeah, I don't think it's working properly. Yeah, there it is. She's bent. She's not the shape she's supposed to be. So, I'm going to have to order a new one of these. Because what it does is, it's supposed to hold this all up. Which allows you to change gears. But since it's down, it's, it's crushed. Must just be worn and old too. So. Now I've got to order one. See where I can get one from. So I jumped online and I was able to find a gear change spring from Partsilla. So it was about five bucks and then delivery on top. And I was able to get a water pump gasket and clutch cover gasket from Rocky Mountain ATV for really cheap. Turns out I didn't need a clutch cover gasket, but whatever, I ordered it just in case. I've replaced the gear selector spring. So that's gone in there. It's like a $5 part, so that's good. I don't think I'm going to need to uh, replace the gasket for the clutch cover because it actually looks pretty good. I ordered one but it looks pretty good so I shouldn't have to. I did order a water pump seal though because that one, uh, water pump gasket because that one is stuff. So what I've got to do is I'll have to put the uh, clutch cable back through the casing and then I'm going to have to put it all back together. So. It's not going to do itself, might as well get into it. I uh, also cleaned out the this screen here and it was full of shit. So that's probably a good thing I actually took it off and got it out because it was really dirty. So let's get into it and uh, put it all back together. Hopefully it all goes well. My rag, old underwear. Hey, old clothes make the best racks. Right, so one thing I'm going to do is just, I'm just gonna tighten, tighten my two of these up so I can test the um, clutch to see if it's working properly. Dickhead me, didn't put this back in. I just had one of the battles of the ages trying to get this bloody thing on. Oh, I couldn't get the old clutch to grab. So one end would be under it, like this end and go in, and that wouldn't, and vice versa. So it just took a lot of fiddling and eventually got it, but that was way harder than it should have been. <laughs> but anyway, we've got to learn, let's put all the bolts on. I'm just doing all that, like, like bend it tight, then I'll do a rough cross pattern to um, 
and make sure it goes on evenly. Clearance all the bolts looks good, makes it easy to work on. Alright, next thing I'm going to do is clean up the uh, water pump gas gasket because it's it's shagged, so I just need to replace it. Just going to do it the old fashioned way. Done an old thing. Alright, get the new water pump gasket, so I'll throw that on now as well. It's all put back together, the bike seems to be running fine, it's shifting gears, which is what we're after. No issues at all there. See, click, click, click. That's what we want. I just rode around the street and there was no issues at all. Um, changed the coolant, that seems to be sweet as well, and topped up the oil and it's all sweet. So, actually a pretty easy job all around, like, I think anyone can do it as long as you get the tools. Like. I literally have a $20 tool kit I got from Harb Harbour Freight, so it was cheap as, um, does a job, it's not amazing, I wouldn't like want to do internal work probably with the stuff there, I do the valves and stuff, but not like a rebuild, it's fine, that's another story. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be any leaks here, see the new gasket here, no leaks at all, this fluid is from when I overfilled it initially. Um, yeah, that's that. So if your KLO isn't changing gears, first place to look is the gear selector. It costs, it was a $5 part with shipping, you know, it was like another six. I think it was like $15 total for the part. So the water pump seal was $3 from um, Rocky Mountain ATV. So if you need, if you need gaskets, definitely check out their prices because they are way cheaper than the OEM stuff. So. I have no affiliation with them, just saying that worth checking out. Yep, that's the end of this little maintenance video on the KLR. I figured I'd do one because why not? I'm doing it anyway. The lighting in here is terrible. I'm so sorry. I changed the settings in the GoPro as best as I could. Um, all I've got is this light and my phone because the garage door is broken. You can see it doesn't sit square. We're waiting for it to be repaired on our rental. All right. Enough rambling. Thanks for watching, guys. See you.